We jump right into it. Mind Ascension here. We at part two. I don't even know what I'm gonna call this yet, but y'all will see it in the um on the channel in the video. Uh, my brother, it's up to you. By the way, y'all, when I do these sessions with my young brothers and you know my young students, it's never I don't know the topic. I only know the topic by the question they're gonna ask me. So um, I'll have to title this video later. But I'm making sure I don't make my videos too long for y'all because I heard long videos don't get good views. So I'm breaking everything up. So we stopped from where we was talking about exercise, the origin of gym or gymnasium, um, indigenous exercises, so on and so forth. And um, now this is part two. So my brother, let me know something you might want me to expand on or anything of that nature. Let's get into that. Oh, why not just go back off of that? <laughs> Being fit, huh? I mean... All right, all right. What, um, what does it mean to be fit? Okay, well, okay. Ah, oh, excellent. You know what? Excellent. First of all, we have to separate what we have now in this current society have redefined... Excuse me. Have redefined as health or healthy and fit or in shape. Those are two completely different things. Number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, we have to understand that when we use the term fit, in shape, because I notice um, I'm doing my best to uh, make this more generic aspect, but certain groups and certain people are focused on this word fit as if it justifies the degeneration of your body. Understand when you use the term fit or you're looking for a person that's in shape, you are focusing strictly upon the physical and surface of that person. Because when I use the term fit or in shape, that does not mean the mental capacity, that does, does not mean the biological aspect, that does not mean anything of the internal, the spiritual, anything like that. All it means is, does he have a six pack and does he have big muscles? Oh, ooh, boy, he's in shape. Does she have a six pack? Does she have big muscles? Uh, notice how sim notice how similar those are? <laughs> because, but please, I would like y'all to really think about this. What's the is there a difference in a fit woman and a fit man? Mm. What it, it, the the term fit? Because you know, and, and, and now that I think about it, I'm gonna do an etymological aspect on fit. Where does it come from? And does it does it denote a function doesn't denote a gender because a man that's fit with a six pack biceps tri triceps um traps shoulder blades cut up back and then i see a woman that's fit too doesn't she have to have the same things as that man what's the difference between a fit man and a fit woman they're both tight right they're both strong right they both have muscles and biceps and triceps right so is there any separation between them? Fit is only observable through the physical and through the surface, which lets me know that you are not even thinking beyond the surface and beyond the physical of that person, which also leads to some extent to the attraction or the focus of a physical attraction dealing purely with the bottom of the root chakra. See, this is why, if y'all notice, I use the term spiral curve, spiral energy. The woman is the circle, the man is the square. The square is what you stand on. You can't stand on a circle and be positioned on a foundation because to stand on a circle, you know, Especially if you're standing on a sphere or a ball, mm -hmm. you're kind of going in all directions. You can't stay straight. But if I stand on a cube or a square, I'm set straight in my foundation. And I can actually build on top of that square. Mm -hmm. So I have a question for you. Are you trying to be a square? Or are you trying to be a circle? Because in order to be a square, takes a different involvement of accumulations of actions and functions. In order to be a circle, 
is a state of being with no beginning and no end. But both equate to 360 degrees, mm -hmm. which comes to nine, which is completion of each. Making them polarities and making them complements. But one is angular and one is curvature. Mm -hmm. One is smooth to the touch. One is smooth to the geometric aspect. And one has sharp angles that if you touch it the wrong way, mm -hmm. you can hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. Which is nothing but a form of defense, isn't it? Boundaries and protection. We can't escape the seven omniversal laws that govern all existence. We can play games and act like we don't see them, but they are literally in every aspect and every level of existence of our reality and our realm that we live in, from the plant kingdom to the mineral kingdom to the animal kingdom to the human kingdom. What is fit? If I don't have a six pack, am I still fit? If I don't have bulging biceps, am I still fit? What is fit? And what is healthy? Now, some of y'all that might follow my Mind Ascension Alchemy page, I've stated some time ago that I personally have customers that are literally within their 70s and their 80s, and I only found that out later down the line when they came to me during a time where they were celebrating either a birthday or a birthday of their parent. One customer who I found out recently was 77 years old. The only reason why I found that out is because he told me that he was going down south to see his father for his father's birthday. And I'm looking at this man, and I said, this man's like 55 years old. He gotta be in his late 50s, early 60s. Y your father's birthday? I was like, wow, your father's still alive. How old is your father? He told me his father was 98 years old. I said, what? I said, wait a second. That must mean your father had you when he was like in his 40s and blah, blah, blah. He's like, he looked, he turned around and he looked at me. He said, man, I'm 77. Mm. I was like, oh. And the only thing that really gave away his elderly or what's the other word? Senior age or appearance was that the fact he had gray hair. If he didn't have gray hair, he would look like he's in his 40s. But because he had his gray hair, I assumed that he was in either his 50s, late 50s, or early 60s. But this man was 77 years old. Now, I say this to say, these different encounters that I've had over the years with, with men and women that have been in high numbers of age but don't appear it, one thing all of them had in common, they had a certain mindset where they smiled all the time. They, they told jokes. They laughed a lot. They always found joy and positivity in all situations and never allowed anything to weigh down upon them or to harbor or to dwell or to have guilt upon any situation. So therefore, they were always relieved of a certain pressure that builds up a resistance against an internal aspect and essence in nature and spirit that produces the polarity of the physical effect of what you call old age. So what am I saying? That's healthy. Health starts with the mind and is expressed from the mind through the body. Mm -hmm. When you focus on the physical, no matter how you focus on the physical, you're done. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, I'm drinking my green juice and I run 20 miles a day. And... I'm sorry, you already lost.